I am making poppies for Anzac Day and I will show you how easy it is to make them. Make a loop. I'm making um, uh, poppies for Anzac Day to, to go onto the bridge on a wreath to go on the bridge in Crookshank Park to thank the Anzacs for what they did for us. And there will be purple, purple poppies as well for the animals that also died during that war. Now these little poppies are so easy to make. You do a four chain, slip stitch into the first chain, come back, now you do three treble, and then you do 11 treble into that circle of four chain. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and then you slip stitch into the three chain, the top of the three chain that you did. Slip stitch in through there, pull a loop through, cut it off. Oops, hang on everybody, hang on. It's a bit hard when it's night time. Slip stitch into there, pull through, pull it up, cut that black off. You, some people might have different ways of, do, of joining. That's whatever suits you on how you join your walls. Now I do pull that slip stitch down and then I put the red through, a loop through that black loop and do three chip trebles with red. Three, sorry, three chain with red, and then go back into that same treble, and you do four treble in each treble around the 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 black, the centre. So that's one, two, three, four. The next treble. I'm just doing it close enough because it's a bit dark, I can't see. One, two, sorry everybody, two, three, four. Your next treble from the, the, on, from the black row. You need each one you do four treble in one, two, three, four, and you go right around until you get back to the beginning, and then you go into the three first three chain. They're quite simple to make. People might have a different idea. Now, on our website, there will be a, a knitting pattern. So if you can't crochet, there'll be a knitting pattern. Now, we need lots and, and lots of these, tr these poppies so that we can yarn bomb, which is what it's called, the bridge at Drew Street and Tuppen Street, that we can, and, and for Remembrance Day, we want to put that whole bridge under red poppies. And we'll have some purple poppies there for the poor little animals that died during that war. Because a lot of those ca um, uh, horses and dogs that went over had to be put down before they could come back anyway, which was very sad. And this is just to remember what the boys did for us all those years ago. So I'm still doing the four treble into the treble of the first row.
and I'm using eight ply wool. Don't get good quality wool, just the two dollar, three dollar a ball at the uh, op shops or the um, uh, two dollar shop. And I'm using a size four. This one is a 450 hook, but you can use a 350 or a four, whatever you want to use. It doesn't matter if they're a different sizing. They still will look nice. Just that it makes it a, you get a nice big flower when you're doing the size 450 hook. Fantastic. Now I've just slipped into the first, when I did the first three chain on that, on the red, when I started the four trebles on the red one. So now I'm doing three chain, which adds, which is counts as a triple and one treble into the same back slip stitch into the same slip as uh, slip stitch there now i'm doing in each uh treble on the from the red second row i am doing two treble in each treble on the second row and that gives you a nice little frill looks like the soft petals and we're putting them on this this wreath and then we're going to that'll be for anzac day and then what we want is the more of your poppies for remembrance day which is on the 11th of november and we want to do that bridge now we have got support from from the government and from council so they're quite happy for us to be doing it so if you want to help more than welcome if you want to add to what's there you're more than welcome to do that even if you want to add the anzac poppies that you buy you can add those to it as well and make it a really lovely display and let's show people how much we we support the anzacs because a lot of people don't realize what they they did for us I do these in my sleep, I might add. But there's five girls helping. So if you feel that you would like to help make them, let me know on 9314-7245. You can get a nice thickness with a number four hook, I reckon. Uh, you know, 450 is too thick and a, and a three... 350 makes a very fine one but this makes a nice full fluffy one I think anyway it all depends on what your tension is now I've finished that's my last one now there is my three chain from the beginning the three chain which adds which acts as a treble. Now I go into that one there, slip stitch into there, pull the loop through, pull it through, and I'll get it through. Isn't it typical, eh? Hey? And then that that's that's finished your your poppy. I'm not going to cut that loop off, that that wool off either, because I need that to tie. I need that loop, that piece of string to tie onto the tree as well to keep the poppy standing up nice and firm. So it's not hard and if you feel you'd like to do it, you're more than you're more than welcome. Or as I said, once it's up and you can't do knitting or crocheting, well you can just do put the lovely Anzac poppies on that you buy. And there's your little poppy. Okay, there you go.